hello guys so welcome back to my channel i just want to share with us uh, for like um i was having my meditation at quite time i've been reading the bible and uh, this common scripture jumped at me and then um, i was just looking at it that probably we need to have a series of talk about it but somehow i've been i've not been able to get myself together to start but whether I'm able to continue the series or not, but I just want to talk to us about this. The Bible says that righteousness is not a mission, but sin is a reproach to any people. You can find that in, in um, Proverbs 14, verse 34. When we look at our nation, um, everybody will be pointing fingers at somebody else and say, hey, you are the one, you are the politician, you are the bad people you the pastors or, or imam you are the bad people are uh, you this uh, civil servant you are the bad people and uh, okay thank god that strike is uh he's been called up today has been called up today and uh, you the lecturer you are the bad people oh you the students you are the bad people everybody points a finger at other people but you forget that the other ones are pointing at you i shall point a finger the other three are pointing at you righteousness exhausts admission but sin is a reproach to any people. What does this mean? Now, it tells you that why we are having issues is because we refuse to believe in righteousness. I was coming from work today and I was calling my driver about somebody and I, I, I was telling him, oh, if you see this guy, if he preaches Bible, ah, he knows Bible, you can pass it. Having any knowledge of the Bible is not enough. It doesn't do you anything. No. Having insight, understanding, like we are in the month of wisdom now in the church. That is that is key, that is important. How do you do it? Is the fear of the Lord that is the beginning of the wisdom. And that is what we stop you from doing many things. A friend I've been talking about how she was the man and according to I could not imagine such a thing. A, a, anybody we are as as academics we are the first among equals. So so today when she was not telling me some of this and that's, uh, that somebody that confirmed that they took the personal the experience and all that but this is the way they were able to help the person and that's said, are you serious that like, that's why you are saying it i do not believe you because i cannot imagine me as dean now you go and be hiding the publications of my star i can't imagine it yes if you're somebody that you you know probably by the uh the, the person's inclination the person has such a wicked spirit you may say but I, I still find it difficult to understand. It, be, me, it is still beyond me. That's just the truth of the matter. But in a way, I also say I've known somebody personally that actually has been the person, the faith of the person that was doing is I can understand the people have wickedness of the spirit. You can just also understand where they are coming from. But what am I talking about? As a people, when we say everybody else is bad, in your corner, what are you doing? What exactly are you doing? Are you also doing bad things? Are you victimizing people? Are you abusing your power? Like my new faculty officer that was posted, I was telling her, and I was telling her this, I said, I said, see, just make sure that you use your power right. The only thing I need power for is to help you. I don't need it. What money are you going to give me that I want to use to enrich myself? So these are the, these are the issues. These are the issues. So, so we... So I looked at it and I said, maybe we need to talk about it. Maybe we need to talk about it and stop blaming everybody else and start searching our own souls. And say, okay, what am I contributing to the world in Nigeria? What am I doing wrong? What position do I have that I'm abusing? I don't, I've done a video on, on judges here. Yes, thank God they are learning, they are whatever you call them, but I did not find that experience for me. I won't forget about my level, forget about I have one level. I'm just talking about a Nigerian going to sit down from like 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. just to get a signature. For me, it is wickedness. It is wickedness because that day was messed up. And I cannot imagine doing that in my office because anybody that comes, we are come. What is it? What's the situation? Let me attend to it. Even not only chat true. When my children are not responding to the students, I respond or I call the person's attention or the one I can respond, I respond or I'll give the contact. Okay, I call the person. Because you have not been fair. This person is 
is is already frustrated and you're adding to it it's not right righteousness is the only that is the way we call it wow do do good behavior that that righteousness is what we exalt us as a nation every corner that you are in exhibit righteousness that's what we are talking about exhibit that righteousness that's what we are talking about sin is a reproach i want to read the thing because you will always find that there's always darkness around sin there's always darkness that's the truth of the matter I told my mama that when she came, me after I picked this up from, he said, "Oh, that's a uh, time for my school." Then he, he came to, uh, he also noticed what I was. I said, "I said that's why I said when you go, I said me I don't want to because I will tell you the way it is. I don't want to reach you because me I will not, I will not pat wrong things on the head." And I said, and I said, "These are the weaknesses you have. These are yes, you have the strength of uh, if you want to do something, you will do it." But most times it's very negative. He's always very quick temper. He's always a very uh, a wrong driver. And I've had complaints too from other people. But then much more. I I I have noticed and I've corrected with if you don't listen. But the person that received him for just two weeks got a commendation letter for me because of the way the guy was careful, the way he was respectful, the way he was this. It's the little thing you tell my woman driver to do. You just flare up and I say, okay, if you cannot draw the line because I'm the woman that I'm your post, that's your problem. I mean, you can just tell them you don't want to work with me. But you know, as I say, I just got fed up with him and I just stopped complaining and all of that. But this driver showed me that this is the proper driver should be. And I gave him comment. And that it was his own his boss. And I said, okay, do, do I want the person to be changed to me? I said, if you don't mind. Hey, the person too does not mind. And so later I was saying, the guy was saying, oh, they told him that he said, well, I have a place that he's doing. I told you the same on what basis. The pay is anybody that can say I'll be careful, I'll be careful. And anyway, that, that's by the way. But what am I saying is that in that your own little corner, in that your own little corner, okay, I'm talking about the driver now, misbehaving, be unruly, not taking corrections. In your little corner, what are you doing with the authority and the power that you have? What are you doing? Are you exploiting people? Are you using wrongly? Ask yourself. It's only righteous that can exalt Nigeria. And that is you be righteous in your corner. I be righteous in my corner. And before you know it, you become a notion of righteousness. The sin is a reproach. And you bring darkness. We cannot let darkness overtake this place. One prayer I've been praying is that the knowledge of the saving grace of the Lord shall fill this land. And the light shall overcome the darkness. And everyone. That have had the opportunity to taste power, shall learn to use it for the advancement of this country in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you very much. Do not I appreciate you all that I'm supporting our channel. Do not forget to subscribe, do not forget to hit the notification button. Um, do not forget to like this video, do not forget to share it. And of course, you can comment, you can ask your questions. I'll be very delighted to respond. I respond to comments. God bless you guys. See you in the next video.